Hi guys. Welcome to a video diary. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry for, oh, I'm all hot. I've been running around and the oven's on right now. <laughs> um, sorry for not putting out a video diary yesterday. Um, I was going to, and I actually filmed a video and then I just, my intuition was telling me don't post it. Um, it was a real personal video, but with like, I was trying to make something, a personal topic funny, but I feel like when I was kind of like, cause I always look back on my videos before I post in public. And <laughs> even though the topic was pretty good and I actually kind of want to redo it, but being a little bit more nicer to myself, um, and maybe a little less transparent. Um, but it was too, it was me being way too open with you guys. And I don't know if I'm ready to be that, that transparent with you guys. Um, it was a lot of like about my past, a lot of about like, um, my relationships and <laughs> I guess it's not it's not that I want to like paint this picture of how I want you guys to, to see me but I was not the same person that I was back in the day like I was a shitty person when I was like 19 19 from from between like 19 to 21 when I, when I met my husband like he met me when I was still a shitty person but um, I I really changed for him with him from him um, with his influence and all of that. So, <laughs> but I was a crappy person and I was a really, really bad girlfriend. I mean, I think I was, I was a good girlfriend for, 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 to give myself some credit, but, um, I, <laughs> I was a bad girlfriend. And I guess when I was like talking about my relationships, I really, it really dawned on me how, how much, um, advantage I took on people. And it kind of, I was trying to, I was trying to make it seem that like it was okay, I guess, as I was like talking about it. Cause I started realizing it when I was talking about my past relationships, I was like, wow, I was a really crappy person, but it has a lot to do with stuff that I went through, you know, when I was young. Um, and with my first boyfriend, first, first, first main major boyfriend. So anyways, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't very comfortable with the topics that I was talking about. And I was like, you know what? I better not, um, I better not post that. So, <laughs> cause I knew I was going to end up regretting it. And, um, I, <laughs> I don't want to regret posting something like that. Cause to me that something like that is just too personal. So Rather than filming a second video diary, um, I just decided not to film one at all. Um, I was feeling really out of it yesterday, really, really exhausted, like a lot of fatigue. Um, and usually when I get like that, there's a reason for it. Um, it could be, I'm just, maybe I'm coming down with something, but from an astrology point of view, um, I had one of my followers message me on Instagram and she mentioned about Neptune and so I, ch I looked at the chart this morning, like today's chart, <laughs> the transits, and sure enough, Neptune is opposing the Sun in Virgo and Mars right now. And so, Nep so Neptune's obviously in Pisces. 17 degrees Pisces and it's currently like literally directly opposing the Sun in Virgo 17 degrees and um, and then I included Mars in there because Mars is 14 degrees Virgo right now um, and so to me oppositions and conjunctions um, happen within like a five six degree roundabout so um, yeah I hope it made sense. It's probably confusing. But anyway, I'll just throw this out. My bride's gonna be done in like, like a minute. Sorry guys. I had to like do this also while getting um getting my breakfast in order. I'm like 
running a little bit later. Well, it's only 10, so I'm, I guess I'm okay. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I guess I could cut up some strawberries while I talk to you guys. Um, so yeah, so that's what's happening right now. And Neptune is, <laughs> Neptune is illusions, fogginess. Neptune is fantasy world. And so it made sense why I was feeling so fatigued because also Mars, Mars is your energy, Mars is your motivation. And let me wash a couple of these. Ooh, these are big strawberries. <laughs> I love it. I like when they're big strawberries because then I don't need to eat as many. I like to make my strawberries last through the week. Let me just get situated, you guys, with my food. <laughs> I guess I could move it so you guys could see me a little bit. See my big old butt. <laughs> um, so yeah, that made a lot of sense in the fact that Mars is conjunct the sun right now, and they're both opposing Neptune. Neptune's adding a fogginess, a, an illusion, a, just a big, like an out of it kind of a sensation and when it's doing that to Mars <laughs> Mars that creates like a lazy like a lazy vibe to me or just not feeling motivated and that's exactly how I was feeling yesterday I, I got done with stuff though like I was still productive but <laughs> I didn't get done with nearly as much readings as I wanted to. I still have three more orders to do. And so I only got done with like, I think I did three orders and then I had three left. So that was kind of a bummer. But I just, when I was feeling like that, I'm like, I need to take a nap. <laughs> I need to relax. Um, I'm not going to be good for my readings. And I didn't want to like compromise the reading because the client doesn't deserve that. You guys don't deserve that. So. Wow, my bread just like, my blueberry bread just totally fell apart. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me move this now over here. Hopefully this won't fall. I have it balancing on books right now. Uh. Okay. So everything's hot right now except for my strawberries, so I'll just have to be careful. Um, so yeah, that's what's, that is what's happening with the Astros. And so that made sense why my fatigue was the way it was. And um, also get ready because um, we have Friday the 13th coming up in three days. And um, the moon, depending on where you're at, okay, depending on where you're at, right now um, the moon is in, I think the moon is in Aquarius right now. Um, and it's in Aquarius until the 14th. Oh, no, maybe it's not because it's the 10th. It's only the 10th. No, that's not right. It's not going to be an Aquarius till the 14th. <laughs> um, I don't know. Don't listen to me. But all I know is that I don't know right now what, what, where the moon is currently. But <laughs> if I'm going based off my emotions, it's probably Aquarius right now because of the way my dreams have been. Um, and then it's going to be in Pisces. And so the moon will be in Pisces when it is full. Like when it, when the moon is legit full, like at the exact minute, it's in the sign Pisces. And then eventually it comes out of the sign Pisces and then it'll be in Aries, obviously. So you're going to have a full moon initially in the sign of Pisces and then it moves on into Aries. So depending on where Ari Pisces and Aries are in your chart, that's where the moon will be influencing you emotionally. 
So for me, that's gonna be in my 10th house and then going into my 11th house, which is the 10th house is like the public and career and then the 11th house I believe is like networking and friendships and stuff. So it's a lot of like my interaction with everyone else. <laughs> um, and so, whew, I'm hot, I'm hot right now. Like that oven, that oven warms up the house because I have a little, I have a small house and so that fucking oven like, <laughs> When it's on, it, it makes everyone else warm. Or the whole thing, the whole house warm. <sighs> and my air isn't kicking on as much right now because it's not as hot outside. You could totally feel the season shifting up here in the desert. And um, so the air is not kicking on as often. So technically it's not hot in the house, but it feels hot for me right now. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, you're having like all this stuff happening in the Astros right now. And... Um, I just I wanted to say for you guys like if you're feeling um, a lot like if you're feeling like it's just a lot to take in um, give yourself a t some time out you know give yourself time out there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with like taking a time out um, I did I did that yesterday I took a two-hour nap I knocked out I didn't hear it. my phone going off I had a couple text messages when I woke up um, one of them being my husband's and I was just so out of it. <laughs> so um, I needed that time out. I needed that break because I was I was running on fumes, like doing my household stuff. I got the laundry done and I went grocery shopping, but I was just like, I felt like a zombie the whole time. Like, I was like, why am I so tired? Why am, do I have so much fatigue right now? And it makes sense, you know, on an astrological standpoint, you know, um, I'd be, some people don't believe in that stuff. So other people might just think of it as like, oh, well, maybe you just didn't sleep good last night or, or you're not eating healthy. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, what else do I want to talk about? So that's what's happening with the Astros. And I finished The Marriage Lie. So this book, um, it's by Kimberly Bell. And she wrote some other books that I actually want to check out because I really like her writing style. This book was so good, you guys. So if you're looking for um, like a, a suspense kind of a story with having to do with just like everyday stuff, um, and it's like, and if you're in your like 30s and stuff, you'll you'll you you'll relate to this. Like if you're married, you're in your 30s because that's the character too. Um, so it was really good. It was kind of like a roller coaster ride <laughs> through the book. It, I was I found myself close to crying at some points um it just it was a really good read so i totally recommend it the marriage lie by kimberly bell if you guys are looking for something to read so i'm gonna turn that back into the library today when i'm at work and um i think i'm gonna read rosemary's baby <laughs> as my horror read for this month um and then i have a couple young adult books that i might dive into um, I'm not going to be reading Rosemary's Baby or any horror books at night before I go to bed. Um, I find that like since we're close to a Pisces moon right now, my dreams are just starting to get very vivid and very like lucid dreaming. <laughs> but that's just me. Like I dream like that all the time. But I don't want any nightmares. So I'm like I'll read the horror stuff during the day and then at night before I go to bed if I choose to read, I'm going to read like a, a YA fiction or something. <laughs> So, yeah. Mm. I got these strawberries at Walmart. And they're pretty sweet. Mm. So, yeah. Um, what, else? what else can we talk about? My eyebrows. Have you guys been noticing my eyebrows are a little bit different? Um... So I've been trying to do a little bit more of a natural look <laughs> with my eyebrows. Um, so go look at any other old video of mine. You'll see, you'll, you, and you probably already noticed it about me. I have very dark eyebrows because I draw them in. And so I always love that look of like just real dark, thick eyebrows. But I feel like I need something softer for my face now that I'm getting older, I just feel like the, the the thick, dark eyebrows don't work for me as much anymore. <laughs> now that I'm getting older, like you guys, if you'll know, like when your face starts to mature, I, I 
you, you, some of the makeup techniques that you used to use on your face don't work anymore. <laughs> like sometimes, like the way I did, I used to do my makeup in my early 20s is not the way I do it now. And, um, and <laughs> so I had to like do some changes. I had to add concealer to the whole mix because now I have like my little wrinkles around my eyes and stuff. So my makeup routine changed and I feel like my eyebrows need something different. So they're a little bit annoying today. They looked a little bit fucked up today because I messed up and then I had to like erase them. <laughs> I had to run like a makeup wipe over them and then redraw them in because I messed up. I'm still practicing so, but no one's really mentioned my eyebrows that have seen me at work and stuff. So <laughs> I figure they either don't notice it or it's not something that is anyone like anyone really cares to talk about so <laughs> so yeah but what I use for my eyebrows is the Rimmel brow pencil and so it's a it's a brown an eyebrow pencil and the, there's a cap to it that has a brush so I would never use the brush when I would do my eyebrows before I would just draw them in the shape that I want and then I would fill it in with the brow pencil like just color in the lines <laughs> but the last week I've been doing like I'll draw in the lines and then I'm shading like I, I use the pencil to fill it in like I like I brush along the lines to blend the pencil so that's how you're supposed to use that pencil <laughs> but I never did it before because I just never knew what the fuck I was doing so I've been watching some YouTube videos, obviously, because you can learn anything on YouTube. <laughs> so I've been watching YouTube videos on how to do it, and I've been practicing, and I like it. I think it's coming out pretty good. I still keep it dark towards the back. Um, these look dark today because I messed up, so they already, <laughs> my eyebrows were already saturated with the pencil markings, but I try to keep it lighter towards the set, like towards the beginning and then darker as I go out. So it looks more natural. And my mom, she was actually the one who noticed it when she came over last weekend. <laughs> she came over on, um, when did they come over? Friday? And, um, no, not Friday. Was it Friday? Maybe. And she's like, oh, I like your eyebrows and you're doing something different. So my mom was the one who noticed it. My mom will notice anything on me. And I think it's because me, me and my mom are like twins. So <laughs> we're, she's like my doppelganger. And so I feel like she'll notice anything on me because it's like she's looking at herself. So she was like, how did you do it? And then I was like telling her how I was doing my eyebrows. So she was like, oh, maybe I'll try that. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, so I've been doing something different with my eyebrows and I'm really liking it and I think it's just, I think it complements my face a little bit better than the darker stuff. So, it's kind of funny how that, that came to be. <laughs> yeah, so, um, but I still need practice. Like I'm, I've been doing my brows the other way forever, <laughs> forever. So it was like, I never really thought about it. And yeah, sometimes they would come out too thick or one would be crooked or whatever. But I've never like tried to do more of a natural look with my brows and I've always been jealous of those girls that can do it with the powder and I just can't. I've tried it, I just don't know how to do that. So I figure I'll stick with the pencil because that's what I've always been using but I'm gonna utilize the pencil the way it's supposed to be used and use the brush, so yeah. So natural brows. Um, but yeah. How long was this video? Like 20 minutes. <laughs> mm, my husband's coming home this weekend. So he'll be home. I don't work this weekend. So I'll be home to see him. And then he has some stuff he has to do though for his job. But at least I know I'll be home with him. And then um, I work the next two Saturdays. So he, my husband might not come home. Or he might he might come home the Saturday before the weekend of his graduation but I don't think he's gonna come home next Saturday so it's okay we're like literally towards the end you guys and 
just to make that little announcement, he passed one of the biggest tests that they have in the academy. So the fact that he passed it, I told him, you're, you're gonna graduate. <laughs> because he has a couple other tests to do, but they're, they're minor compared to the one that he just passed. So I told him, if you pass that test, you're gonna graduate. So when he told me yesterday that he passed it, I was so happy. I almost cried because I was so happy. And um, so I'm pretty much ready for him to graduate and I'll be flying on a plane to Sacramento on the 2nd of October. So it's gonna happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's gonna happen, his dreams are coming true. So I'm really excited, I'm happy for him. He deserves it. And I'm excited for this whole academy experience to be over with because I miss him. I miss him being home. The cats, like Luna misses him. I'm just ready to have him home. Yeah, he's gonna have a, a different schedule for work and stuff now, but I just want him home. I miss him being in my bed. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish, I'll finish my breakfast after I finish this video. But I wanted to pull some cards from the Trick or Tarot for myself this week because I was having like that off day yesterday. So I just want some insight on what my week is going to look like. My work week. Because I'll be working today, tomorrow, and Thursday. So. The Three of Swords, fun, great. Adjustment. Two of Wands. So pretty much, <laughs> adjustment is kind of, I feel like the, um, the three of swords and adjustment, it's like saying I had to adjust my attitude going into the work week. So I feel like the three of swords is kind of displaying like I don't really feel like being at work at all. I really don't. I contemplated calling out sick today, but I was like, that's only going to make it difficult for, for me financially because I don't think I have enough sick time for that. And I don't need to be doing that. It's like I just need to go to work. So the three of swords kind of makes sense. Um, because I really don't feel like, oh, the air conditioning is on now so I can feel it. <laughs> the three of swords, um, is like, I don't really feel like going to work. I don't feel like mingling. I don't feel like just, I don't feel like doing any of that stuff. Like I'm really stuck in my head right now because of the way I'm feeling. And it's nothing against my coworkers or anybody. I just, I want to be positive and stuff. And so I'm hoping that when I get to work today, that my mindset, like I'll be more positive and it'll change. And usually it will, my mood will change. But I'm just like, uh, I would just, I'd rather hide in my bed right now. <laughs> the adjustment card is kind of telling me to adjust my attitude. So basically it's like the advice that I give a lot of my clients is like, if you go into the work week with a negative attitude, you're gonna have a crappy experience. So I need to, I need to adjust my, my attitude before I get to the workplace so that I can try to manifest some positivity. And then we have the two of wands. So the two of wands is like, the two of wands to me is like the desire for adventure to be, to make, to make a decision about something or to be caught in the middle of something too. You could look at it as that. But sometimes the two of wands is a desire for something new, something different. So I do do that. I have that desire. I have that desire right now because I'm not reading a book right now since I finished this one. So I do have the desire to kind of get lost in a book and that's why I'm really trying to pick the, the next one I read aside from a horror book. Um, because I, reading for me is my escape, you know? Like when I have to be in reality, which is a good percentage of my time, <laughs> I do like to escape my reality and that's the Pisces in me. Um, but I love to escape my reality with a good book, so. Now that I've read a really good book, like this is really good, I'm like, I need something that's gonna suffice the next craving for something good to read. So 
I'm going to be looking around my pile of library books that I checked out, see if anything catches my interest. It is fall season now, like fall season is literally going to be in a week or two. Um, and I'm just like, I should start reading some more horror type books, which Rosemary's Baby I think is going to be the one. Um, but I can't do the horror stuff at night. Like I just don't want to have nightmares. I don't like having nightmares, you guys. Like, I'm not afraid of it. It's just, I dream so vivid and I, like, I'm such a lucid dreamer that the nightmares feel so real and they creep the shit out of me sometimes. So, <laughs> I don't want to do that. So anyways, yeah, that was just a quick little card pull. I love this deck. I love the way it smells. I love, like, the, the collage -y feel of it and just the characters in this deck are oh my god it just makes me want to curl up with a pumpkin spice latte and my my pumpkin candle and like my blankets <sighs> i love this deck so anyways um okay you guys i'm gonna cut this out it's already 26 minutes i feel like i just rambled about a lot of just random stuff um but i hope you guys have a beautiful day T technically today's my monday so happy monday to me have a good day, you guys, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, loves.